Hello everyone and welcome to The Sim Life. So what we're going to be doing today is I am creating a new LP. It's called Disneyland. It's Disneyland, not like the theme parks or anything. I'm creating all of the Disney princesses and I'm going to design them to where they have their own little lot in the different worlds. Um, the villains are all going to be in Forgotten Hollow. They're going to have their little area. Um, so what I've decided to do first off is I'm starting off with the first princess that was ever put out by Disney, and that was Snow White. So here is the speed make of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs.
Hello my families and welcome to the Sam Live. So here we are going to play the White family. Now I will explain a little bit because as you can see when I did the make just a few minutes ago, um, <laughs> there were not triplets. I had the Muhu once to try and get um, his job up and get him ready to work. And they woohooed once and all of a sudden she's pregnant and I was like, oh my gosh. So she has done triplets. Um, so I did go ahead and try and get them working up a little bit. Um, but so far they have their... There we go. Alright, so here we go. We Here is Snow. As you can see, she's got her yellow and blue. I try to keep that with all of her outfits. I have made the evil witch as like her stepmother. I have created her father, which is right here. I named him David White. Um, in the end, the evil queen Jenna will be murdering him. This is just one of the the nannies that she has hired because she doesn't want kids. She's too much of a snob. She doesn't want anything to do with these twins or these triplets. Okay, just a little bit loud. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, so obviously she's starting to stink a little bit. So I'll have her come in here and take a bath. The babies are crying. Let's see if the nanny... No, don't go to sleep in there, honey. You need to come. And obviously you need to clean up her mess. Now, there is one thing I want you all to know about the evil queen. She actually is... She makes Snow do everything, and if she doesn't do what she's told, um, I forgot about a serving of fish tacos. If she doesn't do everything that she is told, then she does get yelled at by the by Jenna. Unfortunately, though, David doesn't really interfere with the punishments or anything, as Snow is just a teenager. <laughs> Yuck, what are you eating? Fish tacos just kind of look like the time for today has concluded. Okay, so the nanny has now left. That means it's up to Snow to take care of her sisters, which is obviously not something she wanted to do. Um, I named them Beatrix, Beuta, and Bella. I was trying to keep with all the bees just because you never know. Um, I did put the wishing well outside so that she could make a wish. Let's see, what's this other one? Buy a bee box. I don't know what it is with these sims and buying bee boxes. It's like, buy a washing machine? No. Um, I do have, let's see, go to prom. Well, we'll think about it. That's if your dad doesn't pass away first. Um, she has, I put these inside of this little wash building because that is one of Snow's, no. that is one of Snow's chores is to do all the laundry. So as you can see, there's a laundry basket here and there is, I thought there was another one. I guess not. I guess there's just one in Snow's room. I swear there was another one, though. Anyway, I just made their cabin. It's very small. It's not big at all. It's just a small build. Um, obviously, what are you doing? Get out of their bed. You need to come over here, claim this, and go to sleep. I mean, you just need to take a nap. Go to bed, hun. It's 10.55. Now, he does he's a very fam family oriented sim he is a freelance article writer 
Um, so that is one thing that he does do right now. Of course, she does not work. She wants to be a public enemy, so she has to be disliked by two Sims. Right now, their one Sim that she hates is obviously Snow. She does not like Snow at all. She just wants her to do everything for her. That's why you can see... Oh. Well, then just go to bed. I'll go ahead and have David go ahead. He changed that dirty diaper. Okay, David, I think you are going to head to bed as well. Um, Jenna, who's calling you? Oh, nobody. Okay, that's fine. She's obviously going to go to bed too when she's all done. Um, now, I have been trying to get Snow to work up on her singing skill because that is one thing she needs to be good at is being able to sing. I did give Snow... Who would be calling right now? Mortimer Goth. No. Um, I did give Snow her own little um, thing to where she can meditate because especially with her relationship with Jenna being so low, um, it makes it for a very, very sour relationship. They do not like one another. And obviously, she made sure that the babies were put in Snow's room because Jenna needs her beauty sleep. Irrelevant to the fact that Snow is in school, she doesn't care. She says, no matter what, you are to take care of the children. I don't want them. They're your, sis they're your siblings. So you take care of them. So Snow takes care of them most of the time. Now, when Snow leaves, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work out. Um, that's why I kind of had her to where she... Golly, she's not going to get any sleep with these triplets, is she? Uh, go ahead and go and bottle feed. I know you need some entertainment, sweetie, but you also need to go to sleep. You're not going to get too much sleep if these babies just keep waking you up. I might end up just go ahead and putting a couple of them in. Um, uh, now the one's crying, so we'll go ahead and bottle feed that one. No, don't go to bed. You'll be woken up anyway. So go ahead and take care of Bella, I believe. Is that Bella? Heck yeah. Beautia is her name anyway. Beautia, Beatrix, and Bella. I thought Bella was over there, but... Okay, then why don't you give her a little bit of a cuddle? I don't see. Oh, and change the diaper, obviously. I don't think. I think the other one's okay. Yeah. You need to get some sleep, sweetheart. I know it's Sunday, but you seriously need to get some sleep. So go ahead, change the diaper, and then hope. I think you should be okay. I think the, tr the triplets will stay asleep now. And obviously the laundry basket's getting pretty full, so I'm probably going to have to have her do laundry again. Um, let's see. David's going to be getting up pretty soon. Okay, go ahead and rock, and then go to sleep. Poor thing. And this little thing, I placed it up there because I originally had the triplets over here, and now I can't get that off. I mean, I guess I could delete the wall and then just paint it again, but yeah, it's not much of it being worth it to me. Okay, so she rocked. Did that work? Yes, it did. Okay. Poor Snow. She's never going to get any sleep by the time this is over. This one's going to cry next. Watch. Told you. Bella was next. I mean, she's getting hardly any sleep because these babies are driving her absolutely ragged. Um, but 
pretty soon she'll be able to go to sleep and actually try and get some rest. Um, now, he is not a freelancer writer. He's supposed to be just a regular writer because he does go to work from 9 to 5. But he is on family leave for this day, even though he's supposed to go to work. So, um, she wanted to make, uh, Jenna wanted to make absolutely sure that David knew that she, she was a new mother, she did not, she needed all the sleep she could get, and so that's when he talked to Snow and said, yes, you are going to be taking care of these babies. Uh, Jenna says that she'll take care of them during the day, but at night, you're just going to have to do it because she needs to be able to get her beauty rest, which to me is super unfair, um, but then again, that's how that evil stepmother is, you know? Oh, she got more than a couple of hours of sleep. Okay, go change the dirty diaper and then go back to sleep. Um, she also knows that she is not, repeat, not supposed to wake up her mother at all. Oh, poor dear. All the babies are crying now because all of them have dirty diapers. It's 8 o'clock and I think she's gotten up like four times now. But I'm thinking... Insecure for what? David is feeling insecure right now. Oh, okay. So there is Jenna. So, I will have Jenna go ahead and... Now, this is one thing that I have noticed. Hire a service. I want to hire a nanny, but for some odd reason, she... I have to hire one every single day. For some other reason, they don't come every day. And I'm thinking, it. thank you for hiring. Your nanny will arrive Sunday at 8.38. So, at least we know that. Maybe then Snow can get a little bit of rest. That was one thing that David made her agree to, is that she would hire a nanny during the day, just because Snow is obviously going to be in school. Um, as soon as she gets, as soon as Snow gets up, I mean, obviously Jenna is going to yell at her because she, obviously she needs to clean the toilet. Very uncomfortable. She's got cramps, so it is delightful to see you again. Yeah, we need to figure out how to hire you permanently to come every day. Um... I don't know. I don't know what to do on how to get it to where he'll come every day. I I don't know. I think what she might end up having to do is... Oh, he needs a shower. So I'll have him go ahead and go take a bath. Um... Which, obviously, Snow will have to clean that up because Jenna will not... And see, she has to have, like, fresh breakfast every day. She won't eat this other stuff. So, now, she is flirting with the nanny. As you can see, she's got just, like, a little bit of flirtation. Why don't you go ahead and give him a tip? Um, how is Snow doing? So do that, and then I want you to come in here and wake her up, because you're hungry and you want to eat. So go ahead and give him a tip. He says, thank you. Okay. Snow White, get up. I'm hungry, I want breakfast. So obviously Snow White has to come in here. She's like... Ugh, I'm not feeling so good. What's the matter with me? I'll relax. She seems kind of tired. What is she going to do? No, you're not going to get leftovers. 
No, you want fresh food. You do not. Uh, I think that's. Oh, that was a breakfast that he made. Okay. And she's still not feeling very good. Okay, her dad is in there. Those are from the books that he's written so far. The flea market's in town, so she might just ask him to see if they can do that. Honey, you are going to need to get dressed. You need to come out here and replace the water. I need you to unload and put the laundry away. Okay. Um, then I'm going to obviously have Jenna... What's she going to do? Oh, she's going to chat with David. Obviously, he's in here. I know, I'm pretty sure he's not working. He's probably... He's browsing art. All right. Well, let's go ahead and have him write a genre book. Write a motivational book. So here's Snow. She's out there doing her duty, doing what she's supposed to do. Um, obviously, to put the clothes away, because that's her job. Possibly there's that. Is fine with me. Um, she, I think I'm going to have... Pause. I'm going to have her come out here and yell at her because she needs to go and clean the toilet because it stinks horribly bad. And then I will have Snow go ahead and... Why don't you mop that up? And then, obviously, I'll have... Whoa, glitch and a half. Look at that. What in the world is she doing? That looks weird. Okay. So... She's not going to chat. Jenna wants to yell at her. They are public enemies. They do not like one another. Um, let's see. She needs to chat with her. No, you want to yell at her. Ugh, sometimes I swear. Insult. You, do, you don't want to chat. You want to insult her and yell at her because she stinks. And she needs to get in here and clean this toilet. Okay. Don't ask for advice. You need to come in here and clean this. I'm going to then have you use it and take a bath because she's stinky, stinky. Then I'll have her come in. And have her grab a serving. And then obviously I'll have her maybe have a little bit of fun. If Jenna will let her, that is. Because sometimes Jenna just... Jenna has to have things done her way or she is not a happy sim. So, let's see. She wants to scare a bird flock. No, we are not trying for another baby. You're out of your mind. Um, become angry. Alright, that's kind of a weird one, isn't it? She wants to become angry. What are you doing? You're just getting out all these books for, like, no reason. I think you already write books, reach the living skill. Why don't you resume writing the puzzle pleasers? Because that was one book you were working on. Um, Snow has to go to the bathroom. She, she still didn't go. Okay, well, she needs to clean it. Maybe I'll have her... I know this is kind of cruel, but I'm going to have her use it first and then clean it. See, at least with um, the nanny being here, she can at least, you know, take care of her needs and make sure that she is somewhat taken care of. She can, She's not allowed to stay in the tub very long because she's not allowed to be relaxed for too long. But she is required to do this. So let's 
after grab a serving. I'm gonna have Jenna chat with no Nobaya. Have a deep conversation. Um, propose a crazy scheme. So this is she's gonna propose to him to say, "Hey, so this is what I was thinking. We kill my husband, and then we can be together forever." Uh, first, she better find out if he's single. So, what do you think? Did you do the proposal scheme? I don't think you did, did you? So, become best friends with him, obviously, because you guys are, you guys are very close friends. You guys talk a lot. So, get to know him. Um, she's very self-absorbed, obviously, so... Tell him an unbelievable story, too. Like, you aren't... Okay, they're best friends. You aren't going to believe this. Snow has, doesn't do nothing what I tell her. She just wants to live in her queen world. But she doesn't do anything around here. So I have to do it all. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't need to yell at him for that. There's no reason. Apologize. Apologize to him, and then he needs to go take care of the babies, because I think all three of them are crying. Oh, she needs a shower again. I'm starting to wonder, like, is this tub... Those petals. If this... What are you doing? You do you're not even eating. Will you get in there and eat? Heaven's six alive. Oh. The computer is broken. Well, then why don't you repair it? Ay, ay, ay. Are you eating? What did you do with your... Would you sit down and eat for heaven's sake? My goodness. Okay, so he did fix it. Sit down and eat. Why will she not listen to me? It's probably because she has that book in her hand. That's probably why. Put the book down. <sighs> what is she going to do? She's never going to be able to get a chance to eat. Clean up the books then, and then... I really want to be friends with someone, but they don't seem to really want to be friends with me. How can I make them be my friend? Just keep being friendly, honey. Just keep being friendly. I can guarantee this is Snow talking about Jenna. Because she, she wants to be friends with her. She doesn't want them to fight, especially because she's married to her dad. I mean, they're going to live together for quite a while. So, just keep being nice to him, sweetie. Eventually, uh, alright, that's it. We're going to have to reset you, I guess. Reset. Thank you. Now, will you come over, please, and eat before you die of hunger? Please? Oh my goodness, one of my baby kitties are mowing at me. Okay, so there we go. Her and dad are gonna... I, they have a really, really close relationship. So, let's see. Friendly. Um, ask her how her day is. Um, make some funny faces. Um, pitch a story idea to her. I mean, obviously, I'm going to be having her become, they're going to come become best friends here. Um, see, obviously, these two do not get along. She does not like her. She wants nothing to do with her. 
But he does try, she still does try to be as sweet as she can to her, you know? Um, wait a minute. Did you not become best friends? You were supposed to. Um, deep conversation. Um, take a picture together because you two are so close. Now, her mom has already passed away. So, take a picture. I want you guys to take a picture. Is that what this is? Yes. And when they d when they get up to take a picture, uh-huh. It should be now. I am going to go and do a screenshot because I do wait. Um I might buy Snow a camera so that she can at least take a picture of her and her dad because she did not get the chance to take a picture. Ugh. Okay. Uh, crystal clear digital camera. There it is. Hmm. Hold on. I'm going to have him purchase a gift. So this is what he's going to do. He's going to go down. I wanted to see if that other one is to where he could buy it for, but it doesn't look like it. Nope. So. There it is. So he's going to buy her this camera. And then he's going to give it to her as a gift so that they can take pictures. Pause. I like to pause so they don't, like, disappear. You know what I mean? Um, friendly give gift. Friendly gift. You're going to give her the crystal clear, cam uh, the crystal clear camera. Dag, dag. Dag, dag. She was so bad. Aww. Look at how sweet. Dad, what did you get me? Oh, you got me a camera. That is wonderful. Okay, so why don't you take a photo with David? Because obviously she wants to have a picture with her and her dad so that she can hang that up in her room and stay, always have that. Okay. Whoa. Where in the world is this? I am so confused. What the heck? Like, where? Okay, it is really super glitched. David is earned 304, so why don't we try that again? Take a photo with David. Let's try again. Cheese! Why does it keep doing that? Like, I don't understand. I don't, I really, I, I don't know what's going on there. So, maybe I'll have her come here, him come here. Why does he have a pasta primavera in his inventory? Ay, ay, ay. What? What are you doing? Come here. Where is she going? No. Come here. Then you need to take a photo with your dad. I don't know what's going on, you guys. I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that maybe I can get this to work maybe outside. Maybe because it's too, in too close of quarters. Yeah, that's... That's what it was. Okay. We're going to have it change orientation. Nah, I guess we'll have it like that. Oh, look, you guys. Father and daughter. Snow and David. Look at how sweet that is. One, two. 
will change orientation. That just doesn't work, you guys. I don't understand. Okay, so maybe we'll do... Uh, too bright. That's a little cooler. Maybe we'll do like a, this one. And then we'll just go ahead and do... Is this... Vignet like that. There we go. Cool. Very playful. So see, Snow is pretty happy. Go ahead and take picture together, and then um, maybe seem to be okay right now. Um, maybe I'll have her come over here and make. A wish. Um, she will want to wish for happiness. While her dad, I'll have him come in when he's done there. He obviously needs to resume writing this book. What is Miss Jenna doing? She's going out to talk to them. Let's see. So for her, don't mind about an umbrella life, honey. Just come make a wish. Wish for happiness. And then I'll, what I'll have her do, because she loves to sing. This is what her, where her joy mostly comes from is singing. I'm going to have her come in here and practice. She is obviously, she is obsessed with David. Oh my goodness. She is like totally obsessed with him. She has to be around him at all times, has to chat with him, has to uh, tell an unbelievable story, say, you're not going to believe what Snow did. Um, caress his cheek. She sent a bat after me, and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And all Snow wanted to do was try and get me to blow up. And look at Snow, she's like mimicking Jenna. She's like, look at you, this is exactly what you sound like. Okay, well, let's, as soon as David's done, I'll have him come bottle feed, bottle feed. She's, okay. You need to take care of your babes while you can. Jenna, you get back, er, um, I know this is not how you enjoy life, sweetheart, but. Gotta do what you gotta do. I'll have her do that, and then obviously I'll have her um, practice singing. Jenna does. I'm surprised she's even. Uh oh, she's gonna come in here and look at the toilet, and she's gonna notice that Snow didn't do what she was supposed to do, so she's gonna come in. Obviously, and she's gonna shout forbidden words. Um, he's gonna come outside, obviously, and self publish his thing. So, come in here. You are going to. I don't know why they do. What are you doing? I told you to clean the toilet. Why didn't you clean it? You better get in there and do it right now. And so off she goes. She has to go clean that toilet or Jenna will definitely bite her head off. So I think what I'm going to have her do is watch a movie. Diamonds are for Sims and she's going to watch it with David. David, are you serious? What are you doing? Don't you dare eat that. What are you doing? So I'm thinking what um, Jenna's going to do because she doesn't, as you guys can see, she does not have 
a high cooking skill. Well, look at that. She doesn't have any cooking skill at all. I'm going to have her cook. Okay, what's Snow doing? Okay, she's still cleaning. I'll have her come in here and clean up her dad's pasta, Primavera. I'm guessing she's going to have to clean out the spoiled food that's in here. I think Jenna is going to watch the movie with David. Oh, yeah, I guess she better go to the bathroom. What? Snow, don't eat that. What are you doing? You're not supposed to eat it. You're supposed to clean it up. Oh, I guess that would make sense. I must have told her to eat it instead of clean it up. Shoot. And then when you're done, come and change the sturdy diaper. Um, she's obviously got to search pockets, do laundry, wash in the wash tub. Because she has to do that before school because everybody has to have clean clothes for work. Um, Jenna, I think, is going to travel. I'm going to have her... Travel alone, obviously. She is going to go and get some of the puffer fish meal. Now I can't think of what it's called, you guys. Um, puffer fish. I know it's a, ch a Chinese or Japanese food, but as soon as she sees how to make it, she's when Snow is at school. He's she's going to request to him that. He take the day off because she wants to spend some time with him. No man romance festival. Geekon, what's over here? Flea market. So maybe that's what I'll I'll have her travel over here. If it's not over here, then I'll just I'll search around to see if I can find it. And if not, then I'll just have her go to the park and I'll just place one. But have her eat have her fix it to where it's really poor quality pepper fish and then have David eat it oh no it's late shoot what are you oh you're gonna go watch his performance oh no wait I saw him in there those are knit anyway Lit back up again. Is it just glitching out or what? Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe we'll have to do this tomorrow because it actually is pretty close to bedtime. So I'll have her just go home. I didn't realize it was 10 o'clock. I kind of thought it was a little bit later. So see, buy an oven. We have an oven. Cure sickness with a cup of tea. Well, you don't like tea. And besides, you'd probably have snow make it anyway. Um, but I think that's what she's going to do tomorrow. Is she's going to kill off David. So David is going to end. His life is pretty much going to end. So snow, you better hurry. Come here. Clean out that. David, I'm going to have you come in here and change the dirty diaper. Don't you do anything. You know you're not supposed to. Why don't you come here and pee like a champion? Leave me alone. Okay. So, Snow, why don't you cook something pretty quick? It's dinner time so and it's your dad's last meal so let's make it a nice one uh spooky cookies cheese eyeballs pancakes taco casserole pan fried tilapia party size no just hurry and do a pan fried tilapia real quick david no you need to eat too i think oh no you're okay so yeah, you can go ahead and go to bed. Jenna is getting tired too, but she is also hungry. Don't! Urgh. 
I hate it when she does that. Like, she expects Snow to make everything, but... And then I tell her not to eat it, and she freaking tries to eat it anyway. Ugh! That irritates the heck out of me. And I put that in the fridge, didn't I? No! Stop it! Ah, oh, Jenna, you're really pushing my buttons. Look, Snow just made you some pan-fried tilapia. Now, eat it. Hmm. Goodness, she's difficult. And here goes Snow. She's going to be tired again tomorrow. Change the dirty diaper and then go back to sleep. So, is her acting, charisma, comedy, dancing, mischief, painting, parenting, paid programming, singing, and vampire lore? Alright, so she does not have a cooking skill. That's exactly what I was hoping for, that she does not. Um... Obviously, I think she has a headache. I think it's mostly because of her period. Because she is on her menstrual cycle, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Jenna is on her period. Your Sims period will come every 12 Sim days and last for 6. Sounds about right. And I'll just leave that there because Snow will have to clean it up. Because you guys know Snow. They make her do everything. Okay, so two babies are asleep. One of them is not going to be asleep here in a minute. Guarantee it. 1.30. There it is. Uh, bottle feed. Rock. And then go to sleep. Hurry. Okay, don't need a rock. Just go back to sleep. This one's going to cry next. Because it's awake. No, that one. I guess I should have made her cuddle it. I can almost guarantee you, Snow cannot wait for these babies to age up. When do they age up? Oh, that's right. Walk over, go back to sleep. Okay. <sighs> of course. She's like, oh my gosh. Am I ever going to get to sleep? But you know Snow. She's so caring and giving. Give him a little cuddle while you're at it. And then you can go to bed. I kind of turned off their aging. Just uh, figures, bottle feed, cuddle. Then they'll all need their diaper changed. Like I said. So I'll make sure to age them up tomorrow because I forgot I turned off aging because I don't want them to age up too quickly you know what I mean um, go ahead and go to sleep honey go the babies will wake up soon enough you need to get as much sleep as you can because if you don't so when he wakes up He is going to take a vacation day when he wakes up. Because Miss Jenna is going to go to the park. I think I'm going to have her call a service. Let's see. Nope. 
Not purchase gifts. Gosh, dang it. Okay, Snow, you're hungry. Why don't you come over here, clean up. Let David go ahead and do what he's going to do. Did he take today off? Okay, yes, he did. Okay, Miss Jenna, you need to wake up. And me and you are going to go travel alone. Snow, I know, I know, honey. Okay. I'll have her just take care of herself. Okay, we're gonna try over here first to see if that Japanese cuisine is here. And if it's not here, I'm gonna have her travel to the different ones. And if we can't find it, then what we'll do is hurry and go over to the park. I'm wondering if it just might be easier just to go to the park. Live. Okay. Come over here. Hurry up and hire a vendor. Okay. So we're going to get the Pufferfish Primavera. I think is what it's called. I think. I'm not 100% positive. So come over here. Have her order some. Ah! Pufferfish Nigiri. Snow is off to school. Perfect. Wait for food. Okay. Take it and eat it. Looks like Jenna is having a bit of trouble with this chopstick. She should eat something. Let's see. She should eat more chopsticks food like pepper fish nigiri to perfect that finger dexterity. I'll just delete all these real quick. Now, just because she's eating it, she will learn. What are you doing? Don't chat with somebody. Just freaking eat. You're not a nice person. You're evil. So you're going to say hi to her. Okay. What's this? Don't worry about these other people. Dang it. You've, you're on a... Come over here and sit. This thing keeps, like, glitching out big time bad. Okay. Come over here. Sit down. Eat your pufferfish nigiri. Learn how to make it. So that... Because... Okay, watch. I don't understand. Is there a way to, like, fix that? <gasps> yeah. Okay, so let's hope that she can get to eating the nigiri. That's driving me nuts. Jenna taking her first steps on her culinary journey through the the city. Eating food from cities truck. The ability to cook it there. 26. Yes, she learned it. Okay. You're not going to get in line, dum-dum. I'm going to have you go home. And then we are going to cook some pufferfish nigiri for your love. Okay. So, Snow is on her way to school. Pay bills. Let's not call him over quite yet. Let's have her make some friends. Let's have him take care of the babies. So change the dirty diaper. Uh, change the dirty diaper. This one's okay though, right? Yeah. All right. Now, Miss Jenna, I want you to come over here. And you're going to cook. Some pufferfish nigiri. You're going to do a single serving. But you are not going to eat it. I do not want you to eat it. I want him to eat it. OK. 
okay so you're gonna cook it it's gonna be super bad quality then you are gonna cook some fruit salad for yourself okay so there is the puffer fish nigiri but you are not going to eat it this oh no it's excellent no it's not supposed to be excellent her cooking skill is just a level one Ugh. okay we're gonna have to delete that all right, you guys, hold on. Okay, now I'm gonna have her cook again ah, some puffer fish nigiri, just a single serving. And then I'll have you resume your fruit salad in a minute. David seems to be doing okay, but that's all right. Just chat with her, I guess. I just got to make sure that she doesn't eat it. Okay, that's all I have to make sure is that she doesn't eat it. Is it poor? Why is it excellent quality? Oh, I don't care. You're not going to the bathroom. I want you to be in an uncomfortable and pissy mood because I want you to cook this puffer fish nigiri and it's going to suck because I want you to, to kill your husband. <laughs> oh, I'm so evil. There we go. And then we're going to have him eat the puffer fish nigiri. No, you're not going to go in flesh. She is. Poor David. David is going to pass away from pufferfish nigiri, you guys. This is going to be really super sad. Ooh, he's eating it. Oh, boy. He's having a little bit of trouble with the sticks, but that's okay. Oh, Neeb. If he eats that all, I'm going to be really freaking frustrated. Did she just pee herself? Yes, she did. Well, damn. She is going to have to go take a bath. Then I'll have you mop that up. You what? Okay. Look, pufferfish nigiri. Eating it in a bad mood may cause a slight case of death or low quality. I feel really has taken his first steps. <gasps> David is dying from eating bad pufferfish nigiri. Look, Snow White's dad is. <gasps> he died, you guys. He died. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is going to break Snow's heart. I I know I'm not doing the right thing, but she is going to take a picture. We'll take a couple. He died, you guys, from puffer fish nigiri. This is what, oh, here's death. Now. No, you're not going to win this death. No, you're not going to do that either. You need to come and feed your baby. Go. I'm so sorry, David. I'm sorry that she had to do that to you. It's awful. No pig. It's awful. Look, he died in his plate, you guys. In his plate. He died in his plate. Uh -huh. How much more worse That's could it job. be? You know? No. 
Take your bath. You stink, honey. You stink horribly bad. And he's gone. So here's David. White. We will put him right here. So, Mr. David, we are going to engrave it. Passed on by the evil queen. Passed on by the evil queen. Does that sound about right, you guys? Passed, passed away because of the, well, passed on by the evil queen. Because obviously she was not having it. Okay, when she gets out, I'm going to have her uh, hire a service. <clears throat> oh my gosh, is Grim going to come in and like look after the babies? How is Bella gonna- oh, Bella likes him! Oh, how sweet! Bella actually truly likes, like, a widow lost in the family. I bet you Snow White's it's the same lost in the family. Oh, look, you guys! Grim got- Oh, Grim took care of Bella! Oh, you guys, that is so sweet! Okay, we gotta get rid of this puffer fish nigiri because we don't need somebody else eating it. Um, she did eat already. She's gonna leave the pea. Oh, I guess she cleaned it up. Resume a, her fruit salad. So, with the project snow has returned from school. She's exhausted, but I'm going to have her come over here, and I'm going, I wanted her to uh, strengthen connection to the physical world, because I think, honestly, she would mortified. Oh, no. No, 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 Snow, don't you dare die. Don't you dare. Why don't you come in here and bottle feed your little sister and, well, hide from everyone first and then bottle feed your little sister. Oh my gosh, what's the matter with him? It's delightful to see you today. He's already, like, ugh, walking in and there we go. Okay, so she's mortified because of an awful school day. Dropped a tray in front of everyone in the cafeteria today. How embarrassing. Ugh. Is she cooking again? No. I don't want her to cook again. She's mortified too, so I'm gonna have her come in here and also hide from everyone. And then we'll obviously put this away. Snow fills and looks awful. Massive break out is it her turn to I mean she's hungry let's see slice of life skincare so she's still doing I'll just have her cry cuz she's still mortified come in here honey and take a bubble bath she is really not that sad, you guys. She is going to give herself a pep talk as we chose to do this. This is what we chose to do. You have to remember that you did this so that you could finally be free. Everything is okay. You don't have to stress. We just have to put on a happy face. And just be happy, be grateful, just everything will be okay. A romantic lesson. Okay, so I'll have her call the sadness hotline, obviously. Because she's going to be sad for a couple of days. But I really don't think she will. If I can get her to where, um, can give herself a pep talk a couple of times. 
that this is what she planned, this is what she wanted to do. She did not want to. <clears throat> no. But Snow, I think I'm going to have Snow go ahead and Egypt the kids. Um, Snow, obviously, what's, what is she doing? She's playing a game while taking a bubble bath. She is going to need to use and flush. She's also pretty hungry. It looks like mom, once again, didn't clean up. So I'll just have her grab some leftovers. The nanny is here. He'll be here for the rest of the day. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's see. She can't clean that up. <sighs> like, seriously, he's really messing up our house, isn't he? Okay. Um, Snow is still pretty mortified. It's probably from her massive breakout. Um, what is she doing? She's going to troll some forms. Look at this. She's already confident. Ugh. Look at that. She seems to be doing just fine the way she is, isn't she? So, um, Snow is ready to pass out. She is super tired. Let's see if I can get her to bed before she... Nope, she's going to pass out in three, two, one. And she's out. But at least I did get her to where she was in the tub and was able to go to the bathroom. Because you guys, if I didn't, she would have passed out and then peed herself. And this mortified probably would have killed her too. So I think what I'll have her do real quick is go ahead and hide from everyone and then go to sleep. Because she is really super tired. Um... Okay, and you guys, this is where I'm going to end it. So, um, in the next part of Snow White, I will age up the babies to where they will be three toddlers. Um, and then I will also, I'm not going to age up Snow for a little while until the triplets are um, actually girls. And then um, <clears throat> that's when... Jenna is going to see them as her babies. She's going to start loving them after that, after Snow has done all that she can to take care of them, to get them um, up to that age. And that's when Jenna is going to give the kids, her girls, this bedroom, and she's going to force Snow down into the basement, which you can see is down here. Now, I am going to be creating um, a, see, it's kind of decorated to where they've got all the tools and everything. She has it prepared for snow to live down there. So, for this, the end of this episode, I say farewell and namaste.